Coach, uh, tough loss here, uh, 78-74, uh, tied at 40 at the break. Had some chances in that second half. What did you see from your squad uh, in that second half? Uh, well, I thought at the beginning of the first half we turned the ball over too much. And we've yeah. done a good job of, uh, of taking care of the ball and, you know, didn't do it. Um, you know, we shot the ball well. Defensively, we were good. Uh, held them to a low percentage, but, you know, they got out, out in transition off our turnover, so that really bothered us. Uh, we can't turn the ball over in the second half. Uh, I mean, 26 free throws to six. Yeah, we talked about that. A huge discrepancy in 21 points from the free throw line for, for that squad. It's not That's like tough we to overcome. Were, it's not like we were, we were pounding the ball inside. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of the calls were just... Uh, Incidental bumping, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. Well, I, I don't, I'm, and I'm not, I, you know, you, you can't talk. Just be consistent. It's not like we were playing in the perimeter and they were playing right. in the inside. We, whatever, we lost. That well, said, coach, there, you, you, there, was, there was that football. stretch down the, you had about six quality possessions down the stretch there. One, A couple of them maybe had the calls, but the, there was the others where Carlos gets the breakaway jam that he misses. Just Allie had a couple of throws. Throw. Yeah. Ali missed a few. Uh, Post-ups against a 5'9 guy, missed a dunk, only missed two free throws. Just got to, uh, I mean, you got to cash in on those. And we didn't, and, you know, we lose a close game. The game that was, was very winnable. Um, so it, it's disappointing, yeah. But we just got to, you know, come back tomorrow and try to improve. Coach, what was the message to the team after the ball game? It was a short, a short message. I didn't say anything to them. I just said we got a game tomorrow. You know, I've learned kind of... Uh, but I'm going to go home and watch the tape. Uh, you know, it's not because, I don't know, they want to win. I'm just, I, I, just disappointed right now. Like I said, it's uh, it's hard when a team goes to the line 26 times and we go six and we're trying to be just as physical. So, uh, you know, we saw some improvement. Carlos obviously was really good. Yeah. Uh, um, Javon in the second half got back to playing uh, really good basketball. Um, you know, had a down game. Uh, Doobie was better in the second half. But, uh with our short lineup, we need 40 minutes of effort from everybody. It can't be just, oh, I'm going to take the first half off and then play in the second half. I'm not saying those guys take the first half off, but that's just the way this is. We got to all out for 40 minutes. You got to grind. You got to put all the effort in. You can't. There's no time to rest. We could have rested uh, tomorrow. Is this a lesson And when you run your sets and you have your ball control, you're effective? Without the turnovers, you shoot 52%. Well, I think, yeah, when we yeah, when we don't turn the ball over, we're good. Uh, we, we did. We did. We played well. We just, uh, you know, just didn't convert on a few things. Uh, we finally won a rebounding battle, uh, but you know, I said when you can't, you can't guard live ball turnovers. And when you have live ball turnovers, it's it's a bucket. So you know, they shoot 39 percent, and they have 14 off our turnovers. You know, we probably could have held them even lower than that. So uh, that's a lesson. We just got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. Did you, see, did you see anything specifically in that first half? Because Lorenzo Jenkins had no points in that first half either and got 12 in the second. Anything specifically that was happening? Yeah, to him it's called was, not playing hard at all. It was just on him? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, yeah. And that, that's, yeah. I mean, it takes a little bit of action and motion and, and know-how and cut and, and, and hard work, uh, which he did in the second half. And as I said, you can't do it for 20 minutes. Um, lack of ball movement. You know, he would throw the ball in and he would just stand. Uh, he's got to learn. You know, I know it takes a while for these guys, but it's hard to score in any league you want if you just stand there. You, you're guardable if you just stand. you got to move and you got to cut. And, you know, we can yell at him all the time and yell at these guys as two of the blue in the face until they figure out. Then, you know, but in the second half it was better. He was making some cuts, right. uh, flashed to the ball, and made some nice moves. Did the, either the calls or the misses kind of get Allie in his own head? Because he, he seemed sort of out of sorts there for about five or six straight possessions. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to talk to him. Uh, he's just got to, you know, we've talked about this before. Our two best players have to play well. We had one of them play really well. And, and Ali was, you know, he's pretty good at the beginning. But down the stretch when you throw him the ball, he's got he's to score down there. And he's got to at least get fouled or, or convert. And he just didn't do it tonight. But, you know, we'll bounce back tomorrow and keep going to him. Yeah, you had him in the bonus with, what, eight and a half minutes to go. And it really didn't didn't pay off, right? Is that no, what they, you yeah, wanted? To... Yeah, we, we got a few calls. And then it just we didn't get any more. Yeah. Hey, Coach, thanks for the time. We'll All see right. you back out yep. here tomorrow. See you guys.